Okay, so now it's the next day in the kitchen. As you can see, I keep a pretty steady pace. People. I'm jarring up this organic cornmeal. And because I got four one-gallon jars, I'm going to use... Well, it depends how much... <clears throat> how, that will probably take two jars. And then I got a box of something here. Some kind of wheat kernel. Could be rye. That needs to be put away. Plus, I got another box downstairs still. All right. So, some things I just like in jars. Right? Wheat, I, I, it's easy enough to vacuum seal them into paper, like, you know, put them in paper bags and then vacuum seal them and store them that way. I'll probably put something in a jar, though, because this box is going for storage, right? Just leave myself, I got lots of cornmeal, organic cornmeal now, in the 1.9 liter jars downstairs. So... Before I'd get into these ones, I'd get into the 1.9 size, and I've got, what, 12 of those, right? Because I bought 50 pounds of organic uh, cornmeal, right? And I'm thinking to go get my lard. Hold on a minute. Okay, so 44 pounds of this, which is a wheat berry of some kind. Don't ask me what the properties are, because every wheat berry has different properties and, and is used in different types of baking. Anyway, we're going to open up this bag, okay? So hold on. Okay, so moving along. So I got two jars of this this berry wheat, right? Okay. <laughs> and more than a half a bag here. So I'm going to probably put them in brown paper bags and vacuum seal them and then either put them in a box, store them that way, okay, you know, because it stores nice. Anyway, this is nice too. I like this. So we got two of those and then we've got the two one-gallon organic uh, cornmeal as well as 12 1.9 um, liters, like jars, of this. So that's good. Right, so it, we'll be we'll start cooking with it soon, and then still doing my frozen vegetables. Caught up with my peas, right? Still want a bit more corn. This is the mixed vegetables. So this one and this one, um, I don't know. I have to go through my stuff anyway. This one looks like it's already sealed, so that one's going downstairs for sure, right? These. Hi, rehydrate really really nice and they taste good when they're done I'm just letting you know that it's worth your time okay uh, hold on a minute okay so I got a couple of hours so it smells like pine uh, well this is spruce that that's a spruce tree right there when my son cut right I brought in here so anyway smells like spruce needles in here kind of like a pine needle so you can see so now we're gonna work on this side as much as I can, right? And kids are out here. Come on, if you want to use this rocket stove before it gets too hot, you have to clear out, make it so it's you know it's all good. And then there's a mark. Should we can just use it today? No, not today. We'll plan for it. Okay, so now I'm back in the greenhouse here. I'm working on this side. I'm thinking to take some of my miscellaneous windows. Mm -hmm. Not that I can see anything, but... <laughs> and I'm going to put them on the outside where I have uh, plastic. Because not, not all these windows have like the frames not there's a few of them that's missing their their window because these are old windows from an old old house right a lot of them so I'm thinking so you know I want to get on with the yard right and there's there's a window over there I can just 
install it from the outside. Mm -hmm. And then I have the choice of taking off the plastic, which will brighten it up in here. But I, like I said, I want to change things in here a little bit, right? Right now, I just kind of want to get these little plants in the ground, but technically I should set up a corner in here for hydroponics on a Float with with a float valve, yeah. Right, so maybe in this corner, I have right, and then I bought grow lights for Mr. Lace's cat house. Yeah. So whether I get to that point or not by that time, because I have to, I have to insulate it better. I have to rat proof it too. I don't know, this bloody rat just keeps going in there every year. But mind you, it's not completely rat proofed either, so... When I start working on it, I'll make sure that's the first thing I try and do. And then I'm just going to finish putting on the... Whatever, right? Just to insulate it. There's a couple of little windows that need to go in there. The vinyl siding. And, uh, you know, fix up the door a bit. A few cracks. Right? And because uh, the light itself can hang right in the middle mm -hmm. and it stay nice and dry. So, and that room really doesn't get any, well, it's not a room, but Mr. Lisa's got house, right? That room, it doesn't get a lot of light. So it would be, and it's small and contained. So, if you can get it growing with grow lights in there, that would be good. So, I have ideas how I want to set it up, but, you know, there's only so much time, people. I mean, look how late in the game I am with this, right? Tomorrow, I'm babysitting all day, right up until 11 o'clock at night. Alex and Tisha are, I don't know, they're doing something. I said Tisha. Oh. Um, things here, so, but it's okay. It will be an inside day tomorrow with a bunch of kids. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow. All right, we'll figure it out. I'm doing that food prep, right? So maybe I'll work on that, finish it up. Now, because you see, I have to carry things up and down the stairs. I'm not doing that just yet. I could vacuum seal the rest of that wheat. Ooh, we don't want to lose the camera. I could vacuum seal the rest of that wheat. All right. There's an idea. But I don't know. We'll see. Kyrie's pretty demanding. Yeah. All right. So much for paperwork, don't you think? I'm going to see if I can extend the date of the trial. Maybe. Yeah. If they say no, then, well, whatever. I, I told you what I would, was going to do. Right. Just because, one, you know, it takes time to number everything, log it down, photocopy it, then you have to submit it, then you have to send it by registered mail. Right. Ends up costing lots of money, and I have lots of stuff. So. Oh, damn. Oh, don't spill it on me. Come on. Not good for this. This is the hard part. The dirt's really dry. Just I have to move stuff out. I have wood here that needs to be used up. Oh, I, I would suspect over the next month I'm going to be. Well, I don't know if I'll be using the skill saw because you know my eyes. I could probably still use it because I know what I'm doing, right? 
it's like cooking. You know what you're doing. You can still cook, you can still do all that, but you just have to really pay attention. Especially when you're peeling things and stuff like that. Simple cuts, like a 2x4 or something, that's easy to do. I don't need a lot of eyesight for that. I still have a steady hand, so I'm not worried about that. What are you doing, Amari? That's my good one. Huh? That's my good one. The one that you said that was inside. Yeah. Yeah, that one works better for me. Okay. Freaking morning glory everywhere. Hold on, Amari. That is bringing you this way. So no wonder they say sun's not good for the head. There's a thing in like your brain. Mm hmm. And what's like okay, a pine here, cone? Take this bottle. It was like a pine cone, but um, it just it's sets it's it up to white. It is the um oh what is it called? Uh, hypothamus. Yeah. It's the hypothamus. That, it looks like a walnut. Yes, right. And it's in the middle of your brain. That's right. Looks like a nut. Yep. Yeah. What about it? It just like. Right now, I have a massive headache from the sun. Okay, well, you haven't really been that much in the sun, but you can sit there and clip that shit because you're not going inside to play on the Nintendo, okay? Or whatever. I grow with that. Whatever. Go do something. Where's those clippers? Well, you didn't want to give me the other ones. Here. Okay, I got the camera on. So just go work, okay? Nobody likes to work sometimes. That's why I say, if you have a good attitude, it gets done faster. And you do a better job. Yes, it does. You'd be surprised. I said, is it getting done faster? Yeah, but what is patience? Hmm? A virtue. Yeah, it's a virtue. You'll have lots of firewood. Like I said, you can have a rocket stove two or three times a week. And you won't have to worry about wood. <coughs> and then you'll use all the wood. And you'll be crying for Uncle Mark King to bring some home. But you won't have to do that for a long time if you do this. Because you'll have more than enough. Because you can't burn 2 by 4s No. You, well, you can burn them, but you can't cook over them. Because they give off chemicals. So you don't really want to use them. Only if you have to, and you have no choice. We have choices. Sorry, this technology is so distracting. Even with my other kids, as soon as the internet came, ugh, that was it. Then the cell phones got worse. Everybody became a walking encyclopedia but didn't know anything. <laughs> they just thought they did. Yeah. And we still have that problem today. Yeah. And nobody likes to read books anymore. Go figure. Right. Oh shit. Chewing. All my nails are breaking. Yeah. I'm chewing off my nails. And if you don't have a nail file, you just keep chewing and chewing, trying to get rid of the little edges so it doesn't catch on anything. So annoying. I've broken like four nails in the last two days. It's funny how they all just start breaking at one time. Right? It's weird. Anyway. So this is what I'm doing. Nothing fancy. I'm 
this off for now. What you got? What you got? There's the money. Huh? Okay, I think my car is going now. There's some good parts on this car. <laughs> this is very old. <laughs> yeah, but it's got good parts. But this is going to stick it up for any of Well, yeah. I'm good. sure they'll take the parts from it, like the brake pads and stuff. Brake pads are new. Right? So you, you, you need the key or you need another key? I just want to get into the trunk. Oh, okay, okay. What's in there? Can I look? Nothing. There's nothing in here, Mom. No crowbars, nothing? No. Okay. Take the wood. Sure. Okay. Now there is a crowbar. There you go. Okay. Do we need that gift? Yeah. Does it work? No. The gift is oh, it's not cold. It's only the leg. Oh, okay. But thank you. You want the sand? Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you can drop it. Dan, is there more? All right, no, that's it. All right, there you go. You got it? Yeah. Good, sir. Uh, that's what's left, Uncle you. John. I don't know how you did. <laughs> it's a new. It's a new. Day? Yeah. <laughs> it's time, to, time to let it go. It's okay. It's body, it's carcass. She oh, uh, can I get my license plates, please? Okay. So let me, I pull it a little bit of front. Yeah. yeah. I'll, we, uh, I'll and you'll that. take Don't them off for me? Okay. I will, Mom. Yes, please. Front and back. Don't worry about it. Those are nostalgic. Yeah, ever good. since I own this car, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> Not right, people. This is the way they treated Uncle John. Do you know I paid $173 for that windshield after Julian shot it out with his friends? I just never had the ability to... After I ran it for the year, when they took Uncle John, that was it. I don't know why this is locked. What's in here? Watch out, Mom. The car is fine. This is a safe car. This car will never let you down. No. My glove box is locked. Did you do that? Did you do that? Yeah. Well, maybe he can unlock it. Anyway, I paid $175 for that thing. And just after I parked it. I drove it for a year. Remember, I walked off sicker than a dog. Went and assured it. I was going to take Uncle John to the hospital. But instead, we decided to call the ambulance. And this is the result of it. I drove it for a year. And I parked it. And it's never been on. And I spent two grand before I insured it. And I only got one year out of it. Right? That's pretty messed up. Don't you think? Do you know how expensive these things are? Huh? Where are they? There's one. Two. Two. There you go. Original. Original, uh... What is that called? License plate. When I came in with Uncle John. Brand new brake pads. The routers were done. The tires were new. He put 
by my mechanic. He put floorboards in there because they were, you know, rusting out, right? But he bolted in new ones, ran all my brake lines, did my brake lines, brake pads, ran new tires. I spent like two grand on this car. Then I parked it for a bit. Uncle John was going to pay down bills. And then we got sick. And I said, gee, John, I think I should put the car on the road. Take you to the doctor. He said, yeah, do it. Uh, it didn't work out like that, though, people. So, yeah, I just drove it for a year. Parked it. Tried to get a few people to try and work on it. But, you know, just whatever. I got this car in... 1990. John bought me this car in Alberta. Then he took a bus out to Alberta and got me and he brought me back to Victoria. So how many years is that? 30... 32 years. I've owned this car. Do you have the keys for the glove, glove department? Uh, okay, so let me uh, no, pull it uh, then after that. There's nothing in there. How do you know? I looked, I looked in it, into it. Yeah. It's, it's not... Okay, it's whatever. It's locked. Four years to look. You have four years to look. Doesn't that look kind of familiar? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, they had them get all seized up. Right. <laughs> Kept them drugged loaded them up in a freaking hammock kind of like that and then just shipped them off and tucked them away like a dirty secret I'll never see this car again people I've owned it for 32 years it helped to raise five kids I did tons and tons and tons and tons of community stuff with it like serious. It was a good, good, good car. My uncle Nick sold it to me. He was a car salesman. I went into a warehouse. They had 5,000 5, used vehicles. Um, he said, Judy, buy this one. This one's the best. Out of those 5,000. No uncle John, he paid five grand for it at that time. That was five grand, eh? Yeah. I was totally In 1990. That was a good investment. It was, because I really didn't spend much money on it over the years. That like, was a good investment. For what it was worth, I really didn't. You know? Right? In 32, well, we can't really consider wow, the last. That's a big footprint. Yeah. That okay. was a honker chonker of a car. Yeah, so we're going to... you're I'm babysitting tomorrow all day. Alea May and Kyrie. They're going That's to some nice. <laughs> No. From 1.30 Are until 10 at night. They're going to some festival. It's okay. She helps me out a lot. Electric glove? Up by Holland Park yeah. or something, yeah. You know T is always helping ones. me. Right? It's so. okay. Thank thank you for helping them. Do you need anything tomorrow? I won't be home, but where are you going? I'm gonna go work at Marina's house. Project. We're working on a project. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. Just patience is a virtue, okay? Yeah. All right. So, uh, we'll tackle this next week, okay? Sure. Like, make a, maybe a plan either to go to the dump with some of this stuff? Uh, yeah, or, probably. I don't know. Or at we least can use that in the yard. Or at least bag it up and get it ready to throw out. Yeah. And then I can... Periodically? Yeah. Yeah, for okay. sure. 
right? It's not really that. It always looks worse than it really is. Yeah. Um, that that could be solved like very quickly. So we'll do that. Okay, starting next week. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Whole new day. We're working on it. So once I get a little more room, then I go into the basement, and I don't know. But that's another day. I'm I'm planting right. So. How much did you get for that? Two hundred. Well, that's not very much money. Look at it, Mom. When do I get the money? Immediately. Oh, okay. Because I'm going. Tisha's going to take me to the superstore, right? Just, just look at it. Look at what? Really? Okay, buddy. What am I looking at? No, you no fucking way, man. Yeah, yeah. It's just. No, story. no. You need to drop it. I drop it down. What are you talking about? About this one. You told my son $200. Yeah. No, no, no. This is not, not worth for $200. I explained. You, I explained I explain it was you, a wreck. You explained it was a one. I explained it was a wreck. So he hooks up the car, and then that's when he starts bartering. That's fine. He's a cheat. No, no. This Really, Mom, we just want this car gone. Whatever, even if it, it goes for zero bucks, that's still a good thing. Mm -hmm. We're not paying for it to be removed. You, you get people to come pick it up for 250. That's what I did. I phoned some guy for 80. I am the tone. I didn't like I didn't like that, so I phoned your guy. He said 200. He told me. You said it's it. going to be scrapped anyway, so there you go. You're not. A, I told you Mom. the brakes on that are brand new. Yeah. Okay. Man, man, that glass back. in the look, back look, is 175 dollars. Very good, old. Yeah, it is. Well, very old. But we know how. Doing, Mom? I'm just oh, telling him. Separate. Separate. He's gonna. He, they're gonna Hello. take for parts, Marquine. Hello. They don't just squash them until Why they gut them. Why are you being so? Whatever. Okay. Like fuck, man. What do you expect? Whoa! What the hell? Why he come here. He rode up the car, and now he's mean? just being a Jew. Don't. Now that's racist. No, like Jew as in like There's chip the, you off. That's also racist. Oh please. Chipsy. That's super racist. It's not even about that. You're, you, I'm just saying, it'd be like saying... I'm not using that in a context of a race. It doesn't matter. That would be like me saying the N-word. Who is he calling? Out, he's calling the boss. That would be like me saying the N-word outside of the, uh, outside of context. And, well, it's okay because... Okay, whatever. I wasn't saying that. You weren't, but it is a racist. Jew has more than one meaning. Not he, really. He chewed you out. He ripped you off. That that is that is a racial stereotype against Jewish people. No, it isn't. That's not in the context Why are you I'm using it. it. Of course it's not. But the foundational history of the word is aimed at Jewish people okay. ripping others off. So when okay. you use it, you are using right. it in a racist way. Sure, Mark Kane. Yeah. Okay, well, you whatever. People don't have to walk on eggshells, okay? I'm not being racist. Didn't even, cro didn't even cross my mind. You're hypersensitive about it. He's fucking Italian for crying out loud. Hello? Hello? You're not just taking it to the junkyard, buddy. You're going to be taking parts out of it. So if you're, if that's, if that's what you're going on this shit with, that's telling me that you're going for parts, okay? But don't lie to me, all right? I'm not stupid, okay? Because it doesn't matter whether it has a catalytic converter or not. And if it's, and if it's not there, somebody stole it. What? Oh, okay, Somebody stole it. It doesn't fucking matter. Of course okay. not. It wouldn't matter to you because it doesn't belong to you. What? So Why do what you just go do what you want. I'm I don't so care. Just a bunch of bullshit. Total fucking bullshit. That's basically how they treated John too, right? You know, seriously, man. Seriously. They fucking ripped him off. Fucking ripped him off. Right? You ripped him off, right? Right? And now they're ripping off the fucking car. It's the way people are. Bloody bullshit. Okay, so that was some bogus stuff. Seriously, man. That guy. 
Oh, it's just going for scraps. Who cares if it's new brake lines? Who cares if it's new? What is that called? Brake pads. And so on and so on. Like I said, I put two grand in that car before I parked it. And the only reason I put it on the road is because of that freaking Surrey flu. Yeah. To take Uncle John to the doctor. But instead of doing that, we decided to have him go to the hospital instead. And then he was medically kidnapped. And I drove the car for the year. <coughs> and then, because I was so broke, left with all everything, right? I was full of depressed kids, right? Just the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. Just sat part from that point forward, people. I insured it in January of 2015. And we're now in July of 2022. Yeah, and that car just got basically treated like Uncle John got treated. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck, he loads up the car, then he turns around and says, it doesn't have a catalytic converter, what the, does it matter? You said you're just trashing the thing anyway. You didn't care about the new brake pads and all that, right? So you lied to me, you was lying people, fucking lying. Stop it, Amari. I ended up ripping, ripping my son off. Instead of giving my son $200, like his boss said he would, he turned around and just gave me 100 Well, what the hell? It's bullshit. They robbed Uncle John, and they robbed his car. They're the same kind of people. It's just the way people are. Yeah. Does it matter if it's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars? Or if it's a measly hundred dollars. Yeah. That back window is $175 when I bought it when Julian shot it out with his friends with a BB gun or whatever freaking gun they were shooting around. I paid $175 for that. Now I know why those guys who was coming around saying they were going to fix my car never fixed my car. Because they were too busy going underneath it taking out the catalytic converter. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crooked. I still want to leave Siri, people. Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to leave Siri a long, long, long time ago. I should have. Things would have been different. To some degree. But it wouldn't have stopped Uncle John being medically kidnapped. That's for sure. They had that. Planned for a long time. And that's why he chose to forfeit on his superannuation life insurance policy when he turned 65. Not that it did him any favors because it didn't. So anyway, well, that's one less issue now. Betsy's gone. She was a good car. Best thing Uncle Johan ever did for us. Yeah, he loved that car as much as I loved that car, people. It, that car got us through thick and thin. Yeah. Other than that, I'm grounded though. We know that. Trapped. In some web. Of something else completely different. Anyway. So, I was gonna... Do this for a little while longer, take a Murray inside. Andre can keep an eye on him. I'm going to try and get a few plants. In. I'm just going to put them into planter pots because they're already here. <laughs> I just have to wet the dirt and stuff. And uh, I have a lot of them up there. So, And then maybe as they're growing, I'll, it will motivate me to work on Mr. Lace's cat house. And I'll try and turn it into a little hydroponic room. I'll let them grow in here for a while, get a little bigger. And then, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be running hydroponics out in the wintertime. As if I know what I'm doing, right? Whatever. Oh, boy. Hold on. Okay, people, we're back. Yep.
Nana has planted tomatoes. Right now, you plant yeah. tomatoes? What? Did you plant tomatoes? Yeah. Just tomatoes? Much. And also, blackberries. There's a hole in the roof. I know. That the other plastic flew off. Somebody has to help me put it back on. Okay.